This is Amid Yaimi Gemar and Shabbos, Daf Yud Ches Amid Beis. We pick it up at the very bottom of Yud Ches Amid Aleph. We're in the middle of discussing the fascinating topic of Shvisas Kalim. Beis Shammai holds not only can you not do work, but your Kalim cannot do work as well. And Beis Hillel says, no, that is not accurate. Your Kalim do not have to be Shavis on Shabbos, else long as... It doesn't make noise, is how we concluded yesterday. Says the Gemara, six lines in the bottom, and now that Rav Aishia has taught us, who is the Tana that holds? She says, as we just explained. So says the Gemara, Le Beishamai, according to Beishamai, Bein Kavin Maisa, Bein Deloi Kavin Maisa, Sir, Beishamai holds your Kalim, cannot do work. You did an action, you didn't do an action, irrelevant. Your Kalim cannot do work. Le Beishelel, Avagav the Kavin Maisa, Shari, it's still mutter. So what's the Kasha? But now they're going to tell me, according to Beishamai, that even though an action was not done, it's Aser. Ihachi, what's the cash as we turn over to Yechazim and Beis? Mugmar v'gafr is my time of Shari Beishamai. Mugmar, to make the kalim smell good. Gafr is the sulfur burning in your house. Why does Beishamai hold its motor? Hosam manacha ara says the Gemara. You know why? Because they're not in a keli. Even according to Beishamai, it's only a problem if there's a keli, if there's a utensil of yours doing work. But if the mugmar, if the gafris, if the spices, if the uten- if the um, besamim, if they're just burning on the floor, there's no utensil doing work. So therefore, even Beishamai agrees it's mutter. Says Gemara, what about the next case? Kikis Veneru, Kdero Shvod, the barrel lamp and pot, and the spin, my time is Shari Beishamai. Why did Beishamai say for these cases it's mutter? Are you soaking the barley for the beer? It's, um, all these cases allowing the, the spit to continue on to Shabbos? Says the Gemara, Demafkir Luchu Afkuri. The reality is, Beishamai old, it's not mutter. Only if you're mafkir, you're kalim, then it's mutter. So according to me, Shammai, there's an extra ritual you're going to have to do every year of Shabbos. You have to make hefker, your kalim. They're hefker, now they could do their work. Says the Gemara, Yilchazam in Beis Mantano, three lines down, Lazen Tanu Rabban, Lazen Mali, Yishak, Yitayar, Asasius, Vitor Musin, a woman cannot fill up her pot with different types of food, Vitini, Echlo, Teich, Atan, or put into an oven, Erev Shabbos, Mucha, Sheikha, Erev Shabbos, right before it gets dark, and if you did it, it is Aser. Not only is it Aser on Shabbos, we know that there's a halacha that work done on Shabbos. is also even Motzei Shabbos. Kedei Sheyasu, the amount of time it would take for you to have done this work on Motzei Shabbos. To cook this would take you an hour. You have to wait Motzei Shabbos an hour before eating it. So who's the Tana that holds that? Person cannot fill up a barrel of water. Put it onto the oven Friday right before dark. If you do this, again, So it sounds like who is that Tana? Sounds like it has to be Beishamai. But what's the obvious kasho? The obvious question is how? How could it be Beishamai? We're making Stam Mishnayis into the opinion of Beishamai. Answers the Gemara, you're right. Afilu Tema Beishilel. Really, I'll tell you, it is Beishilel. But if it's Beishilel, what's the problem? Beishilel allows your Kalim to work. Explains the Gemara. Beishilel is a mask him to a gazero. If you leave, leave an item cooking on a fire, this is one of the classical chashais in the world of Bishel, that you might stoke the flame. This is what we refer to as a shehiya, the isra of leaving something cooking as it goes into Shabbos, that Bishel agrees to. And of course, that's what we hold, that if an item is cooking as Shabbos enters, it is ulcer. Obviously, there are other conditions 
Obviously, if you cover over the flame, it will be mutter, the blech, etc. He asked the Gemari, oh, if this is true, Mugra Gafras Nami Lake Zuri Shows of Xera, making your house smell good. Says Gemara, also, like Mechati lay over there. There's nothing to be Mechata, there's no coals to stoke. Why? Very important line. Di Mechati, what's going to happen if you stoke? So in the flame of a pot, stoke gets a bigger flame, it cooks better. But by the Mugmar and the Garfas, you know what's going to happen if you stoke it, says the Gemara. Salik Mukotra. What's going to happen is it's going to bring smoke up because and it's bad. You don't want smoke in your house. You don't want your clothing filled with smoke. So we're not worried that someone will do it because it is negative for your items. Says the Gemara, Unan Chalbisha Nami Le Exertion, the bundles of flax should not be allowed to put it to the oven right for Shabbos, even according to Beis Hillel. Says the Gemara, also to the Kashle Zeka over there, since the air is bad for the bundles of flax, Lomi you're not going to open the oven because it's going to ruin it. Similarly, your legs are, what about putting the wool into the vat again, which have the same gazira? Amr Shmo, Biyayra Akura. It's a vat that's off the fire. You're just letting it continuously bubble and boil with the wool inside. Why are you we concerned that you're going to stir the pot? That it's too sealed, so we're not worried you're going to stir the pot. Says the Gemara. Okay, so we've explained that even be still at some level is masking at what level? At a level that is a concern, you'll stoke to flames, the Isra of Shehiya. 20 lines down, the first one in line is Vitucha, says the Gemara. And now that be still set. It's also get also gzir shem yichata b'gachalim hai kedera chaisa and this is the hetter well b'zman chazal at least hai kedera chaisa if we have a pot of raw food shari lanucha erev shabbos b'chashecha b'tanura should be allowed to put it erev shabbos in the oven right before it gets dark why I we just said is the gzir you might stoke the coals my taima. Even if you stoke the coal, it's not going to help. It's a raw piece of meat. It takes time to cook. It won't be ready at night. Therefore, your Mesach Das that's something that you've been thinking about. So you're not going to come to stoke it. Ubishal, a cooked pot of food. Shabr dummy. As well as mutter. Why is it mutter? Because there's no reason to stoke the flames as it's already edible. Says the Gemara, Bashil, Vloy Bashil, Aser. Partially cooked, it's Aser. Bishadabe Garma Chayo. If you put in a raw piece of meat, Shabra Dami, then it will be mutter. Now, what exactly does it mean, Bashil, Vloy Bashil? This is the massive sugi of Shehia. At what level it becomes mutter? Numerous opinions. In the Rishainim, Le Maisa, we hold once it's a third cooked, then it's allowed to be left cooking into Shabbos. But if it's a covered flame, then it's always going to be mutter, anyways. But Le Chatzchila, we always mention everything should be cooked fully going into Shabbos. Continues the Gemara of Hasha, Damar Mar, now the Mar has said, Komi di Koshle Zika, anything that the air is harmful to it, Lomi Galile, you're not going to open up to stir the coals. Hi, Bisa di Gadi Vesarik, if we have meat of a goat that is, or an oven that is sealed, Shabra Dami, there's no problem with Shehia. So if you steal your oven, which how you do this content, conventionally is a little bit difficult, but then there won't be a problem. On the other hand, if it's meat that is mature, it's tough, and therefore the air won't bother it, and it's not sealed, also, to God, you have a somewhere in the middle. If it's a goat and it's not sealed, or the Baruch of a Sharik, it's a ram, it is sealed, Ravashi Shari, of Yermi Amidifti, also. Says the Gemara, the Rav Ashi Shari Vatanani Yisraelin Basar Batzel Ubeil. You cannot roast meat, onion, or eggs. Elikdeish Yisrael Mevad Yaim. Why? Says the Gemara. Says the Baruch of Lesarik. Talking about a mature one, and therefore the air is not. Go- uh, excuse me, but Lesarik, and therefore that's the reason why Ein Soylin says the Gemara. Igadiyami. We have a second lash of everything we just said. We're twenty lines to the bottom. The first one line is Sarik. Igadiyami. Says the Gemara, the Gadya, when it comes to a kid, Bain Sarik, Bain Sarik, Bain Lai Sarik, whether it is sealed or not, Shapir Dami. Tabarcha Nami Visharik, for meat of a mature ram, 
if it's healed, chap or dummy. Keep ligi, according to the second law, shine, the barach of Eleisarik, they argue on the middle case. Travashi, shari, vir mi difti, alser. And vir mi difti says it is alser. And now the basically the same kash, Ravashi, the shari, vatanani, tzol, basar, basar, lubeya, kadesh, tzol, mebayoyim. Says the Gemara, Hasa the Basi Vigumi. There is talking about meat over open coals, not in a closed oven, and therefore that is the reason why everyone agrees it's going to be an issue, because we have to be afraid you're going to stoke the coals. We just begin the next sugya. Actually, now we don't begin. One small sugya to end the day, ten lines to the bottom, the two dots. Beishama, I'm remain my Says Beishama, you're not going to sell to a guy on Friday, but Beishel says it's allowed. Says the Gemara Taner Rabbanu. Let's understand this. You cannot sell an item to a guy. You cannot even lend it to him. You cannot lend. You cannot lend him either that he's going to return that item or he's going to return a different item. You cannot give him a present. Says Beishamai, uh, uh, a similar halacha, he has to be a gia lebeisai during the day. Ah, it's his own item. What do you mean? He bought it. So Rashi already points out, Machmir Beishamai de Michlaf Bishluchai. Because people might think that he is your shliach and it's your item. That's why it's Aser. It's mutter. Even if there's only time for him to reach the house near the wall of the city. Rav Kiva, I mean, she has to be a Pesach Beisai. He has to leave your house before Shabbos. I'm Rav Yisri, Rav Yehuda, Hene, Divrei Rav Kiva, and Divrei Beiselel. Lebar Rav Kiva, Lefarish, Divrei Beiselel. All he's doing is coming to explain. And this is really where it comes from that certainly on Shabbos, a guy should not be walking out of your house holding something. So if there's an air of his one story, but to hold a muksa item is a similar Allah, because it's one of the Marmakim is why you can't pay a guy, let's say, leave money for a cleaning lady, let them take it and leave it on Shabbos. There are maybe unique kulas, but in the general sense, a guy should never be seen leaving your house with such items, even according to Beis And we'll pick it off for the two dots the next year. Bisiyata Dishmaya.